It's me, Julia, and today I'm going to be showing you all of these school supplies and all these extra little bags of crappy junk I have there for my younger sister's kindergarten class, teacher, whatever you want to call it. There's still stuff I have to get, which would be... Um, I'm going to take her shopping to get the Velcro shoes, the backpack, um, uh, what else do I have to get? We still have to get a huge box of Kleenex and hand sanitizer, a huge pump. They want the 24 ounce w with pump top. I, don't, I get it, but like... I don't have to be so specific. It's kindergarten. But yeah, before we get into the video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now let's get into it. So, I'm going to first off read you this list. Because it's blurry and hard to see. But I will zoom in and kind of try to show you here as I read it. So you need headphones, um, a bottle of glue, um, four boxes of crayons, um, let's see, what's this one? Oh, um, expo markers, oh, washable markers, I can't even read today. Then we need gym shoes, backpack, Kleenex, um, glue sticks. I didn't, I just had, like, this is the glue sticks. I have random glue sticks. I just bought them and lost some of them, would you say? Maybe? I don't know. And then there is a roll of paper towels. Um, watercolor, scissors, hand sanitizer, pink erasers, two boxes of pencils, um, Ziploc bags, and then they just have a wish list. I have some, a lot of wish list stuff over here. Some of it's not even on that list altogether, so... Let's get into the supplies we need. So, probably wondering what are these? They're because they're in the back. We needed um, four folders, so I got um, this one up here is pink on camera, I think to me, but it is actually like an orangish reddish color. These are just the cheap ones at Walmart. This is a dark blue, and then I have purple here. So I have the folders. Um, it wanted a, let's try and go in order now. Headphones, right here. Headphones, no earbuds. They're just the little J, J buddies folding kids headphones, so. <laughs> okay. And then I have Pencils, um, they didn't really specify when she was with me. She said, I want these pencils for school. So, we got her these. We get her whatever she wants. She's spoiled. Mm -hmm. Then I only wanted two pink erasers and said pink eraser. Pink eraser. Then it wanted two packs of washable markers. So I have like a bright and bold fat colored ones here. Board line as they call them. Then here's the 12th pack of the washable, um, clean washable um, skinny markers, um, I prefer the skinny ones, 
but I really don't care anymore. Here I have my eight glue sticks. I just have them in this bag here. Little sandwich Ziploc bag. Um, just some. These are the up and up ones by Focus. Target. They're up and up by Target. Skinnies. Um, Prezart washable glue stick skinny ones. Um, four skinny Elmer's ones. And just a big fat extreme glue stick. It works. They are all brand new, so that's why I put them in Because why go out and buy glue sticks, even though they're cheap, if you have brand new ones? I mean, you could go and buy some throughout the year if you needed, or if the class needed them. Um, but, yeah. So then I also have a pack of dry erase markers. There's 12 of them in there. Um, there's just a bunch of different colors and then they have little erasers on top. I think these are my favorite kind. Well, they're one of my favorite kinds. So, I got a couple different type of boxes of crayons. I have the creaser. It's trying to fall. I'm afraid it's going to fall down. Okay, guys. I don't know if this is better, but I just paused it so I could fix this. Alright, so I have different kinds. I have a 16-pack of the Craze Art. Because I'm pretty sure they're just going to open them and dump them. They're really not going to care. Craze Art also has some different colors, too. Um, then they have a 24-pack. Then there is just your basic Crayola 24 packs. Those are like the four boxes. Of course, they probably have more somewhere to go to the class, but. Alright. Pair of scissors. Basic. I couldn't find ones with a blunt edge, but this is blunt enough compared to the ones I have for this year. Mine are really sharp ones. Then for the watercolors, um, I actually didn't get watercolors. Um, I don't think they'll care. They're just little, like, tiny paint things here. I thought those were kind of interesting. And then, just a bottle of glue. That is all the list of supplies. Wait, no. The roll of paper towels is on the list. I got the Viva. That's my favorite kind. Alright, so now on to the, um, like, extra supplies that I bought for the rich teachers. No, I'm joking. I have a bottle of soft soap, just to refill theirs. I got a package of plastic cups. Um, you could get these instead of Ziploc bags, which is what I chose because they're probably going to use these more. At least I think so because they have a 30 minute snack time with water and stuff like that. And then here I have two little paper bags with a bunch of different little breakfast cereals. The school is actually, um, only serves like a tiny little thing of yogurt for breakfast. So I thought, who cares? It's something some a lot of teachers appreciate. I've gotten this before for um, my um, sister who is going into. Um, First grade, teacher loved it. Then I just have a frosted flake up here. Can't really see it. There. Okay. Then I just have one pack of these little moths for snacks. So 
not much, but it definitely will be good. Um, it'll help. Um, it could even if the kid is in need at home, send them home with the kid or then they could get um, like food that way and all. So, so um, in about a week or so, I will be doing my back to school supplies haul and it's going to be more quick than this because I really don't care about my teachers. But I do care about them but it's like they can afford that. Because the school I go to is basically a rich school. Because it's a private school. So they're rich. No, I'm joking. They're not rich at all. But I don't usually they give extra stuff, if that makes sense. Then here I just have a cotton set. It has um, Q-tips, Q-tips, cotton balls, and more Q-tips. Then, in here is just like um, an extras kind of bag for like the teacher or a field trip kind of thing. So, kids go through lots of crayons, especially in kindergarten when they're trying to hold them scribble and stuff. So I just have some gently used or brand new crayons out of the box. I thought, oh wow, it would make, like I don't use them. They can just go to the school. And also in this big ziplock here, tissues, tissue issues. Um, they're just the to-go little packs. You can stick them in your purse, to your backpack, something like that. Um, or for if you're going on a field trip, something like that. Um, and then here I have little sets of silverware for like lunches or snacks or something. There's like two spoons, two forks, and then two knives. Obviously I would not give a kindergartner knives, but if you want to, go right ahead. And then the last little pack I have in here... It's just some little wet wipes, so there is these little hand wipes here. Um, little um, antibacterial wipes there, and then just a bigger pack in the back. Um, I thought this would be kind of helpful for a teacher who may be just starting, who maybe has lots of kids or kids with behavioral needs. Um, who need extra support in the classroom sometimes. Um, but I also just have an obsession. So. Um, I also just grabbed some construction paper I didn't use anymore. Perfect. Then some, this, some teachers, some, like playing music for the kids to work, so I got this little Bluetooth speaker. I thought it was so cute. Then, since kids are always getting hurt, um, I know they should already have this kind of stuff. But, I have a little tiny Johnson Johnson first aid kit. You can throw this in a field trip bag if you need it. I hate this camera. Okay, I'm not going to make you guys stare at that. And then I have some extra stuff here. Two gauze pads. Then just um, band-aids. You don't need to send a kid to a nurse just for a little tiny paper cut. It's kind of pointless, but sometimes kids just need to be reassured. I appreciate that kids need that sometimes. I have extra pairs of scissors. Now these are really sharper ones. Pink ones. They're more for kids. Or, and then these ones are more heavy duty. There are the Fiskars. Fiskars. Scars. Whatever you want to call them. These are just scotch. I don't really have anything else to say about them purple and basic. Um, and here, since I don't have hand sanitizers yet, I just have this huge bag of Bath and Body Works 
hand sanitizers. I have pencil cap erasers. This is just a 25 count. Um, I thought this little clipboard here with a notepad on it was super cute. Um, this is like for your badge, your limb ear. It stretches and it clips under your shirt like this. And then this thing here opens. I just thought it's good to have a backup. Um, I don't know if she even has one. Then here I have a mini stapler with a little carabiner. And it also has a staple remover on the bottom here. At least that's why I use it for. Um, then just a spot to store extra staples. Then here I have a big huge um, box of staples. There is 5,000 staples in there. Jeez, that's a lot. <laughs> I like how I'm like excited by staples. <laughs> um, here it's just some um, tape, basic, nothing much to it. I have a little tiny sticky notes. Just a couple of different types. And then I actually have actual post-it notepads here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's little tiny like, detail lines there. Thought that was kind of cool. And then I just have this little file bin that you can say, Oh, I'm here, I'm done with my paper. Put it away or something. They could use it for that. I don't know, guys, but... What I do know is that I have a goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers in three years, and I really hope I can do that. And if I could, it'd make my dream come true. So, if you guys can help me make that possible by um, giving the video a thumbs up, and subscribing and turning your post notifications on, that really make me mm, happy. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace.